So in the series of learning programming in C, we have discussed strings in C. From this lecture, I am going to start pointers in C, right. First of all, in this lecture, we will discuss some introduction about pointers like what is pointer, need of pointer, how to declare a pointer, how to initialize a pointer with a simple example, nothing much, right. After that, one by one, we will discuss some more detail, you know, about pointers with some programs and all. We will uh, also see some complicated programs um, on pointers, right. So, first of all, let me clear this thing, pointers are, it is not so tough for some students, they think that pointers are like, you know, aliens for them. It is very tough concept in C. No, it is not like that. These are very simple. Pointer concept is very simple. You just have to concentrate and you just have to, you know, try to understand with full concentration. Once you get, once you, you know, get the basics of pointer, like what is pointer, right? Just how to declare and how to initialize and how to use a pointer. That is it. There is nothing much in pointers. It is very simple to use pointers, you know, concept, right? What is pointer? Before uh, you know uh, discussing pointer, just I just want to uh, recap that thing. What is a variable? How to declare a variable? We have some fundamental layer types in C like int, load, double care. Like if suppose I want to declare a variable of type int, this is a variable name, that's it. And if this is the case, declaration means space would be allocated to this variable. Variable name is a, right? And how many bytes? Four bytes. Integer will take four bytes. Like this is our computer memory, it is a long tape of bytes, this is 1 byte, 1 byte, 1 byte, 1 byte and somewhere 4 bytes like suppose these 4 bytes, 1, 2, 3, 4, these 4 bytes has been allocated to, to this A. Having some address, suppose 1000, first byte address is 1000, 1000. then 1001, 2 and 3, these 4 bytes would be allocated to this A, right. So, I am not writing it something like this, I am just writing the 4 bits in a single block, right, I am writing it, it like this and address is what, like obviously we will see, we will suppose the address of A is what, base address, base address means the address of the first byte, that would be address of this variable, we consider it, right. So, address would be 1000, from 1000 to 1003, but we take base address that is 1000 only. So, for simplicity purpose, I am writing this something like this. I hope you got it, right. So, now see, this variable is having, when, suppose I am initializing it. Now, I am going, I, I haven't initialized it. So, it is having some garbage value. So, I am initializing, suppose it with 10 value. So, 10 would be stored here. So, this A is what? Name of the variable. This is what? Value of this variable, right. And this is what? Address of the variable three things the variable will have, right, name, value and address. This is name of the variable, this is what value and this is address of the variable, right. Now, pointer are also variables or we must say these are special variables. These are not these kind of variables. Pointers are special variables which contain address of any other variable, right. Pointer contains address of any other variable. Pointer does not contain any simple value like 10, 5 or like integer value or float value. Float, if I take float variable like float b, it is going to take floating type of you uh, know values like 1.1, right. If I take char, char c, it will take character like a, b, c or if I write 1, in single code that is also considered as char. If I write 1, this is considered as integer. I hope you got it, right. If you uh, declare a double type of variable that will contain, you know, double type of value. But pointer always contain address, address of any other variable, right. So now, see how, I hope you got what is a pointer or we can say pointers are derived data type. This comes under the category of derived data type, right? Because we derive it using these fundamentals data types, right? Fine. So now, how to declare a pointer? How to declare a pointer? See, this is this thing is very you no know, important. Please watch it carefully. If I write something like this, first we will write the general syntax would be data type. 
then asterisk and then pointer name this is general syntax to declare a variable right so if i write here int asterisk and pointer name i am taking suppose p and see what if you write this something like this like int asterisk this is also fine if you write int star p this is also fine in c if you write int star p these are same in c right so please don't get confused i am writing something like this int then star and then p so now if you write simply int p it means p is a variable which will contain which type of value int is a type of value but if you write here this asterisk it means p is what a pointer variable which will contain address of any other variable right and more specifically if i say address of a integer type of variable right here we cannot say like the data type of pointer is int no if i write something like this float asterisk p maybe you will say data type of this pointer is float here you will say data type of this pointer is int this is the you know mistake many students do but here 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 also pointer will contain address here also pointer will contain address right in both the cases pointer will contain address so how you can say here data type is int here that it here data type is float because pointer is containing address only right so now what does this data type mean int float this if i write here like double double star p why i am writing this int float double it means here this pointer p is containing address of a variable whose data type is integer right means here i can say p is containing address of a like right because see if we can say a the data type of a is integer you can say this here p will contain address of a variable whose data type is float so p can contain here address of b because data type of b is float here p will contain address of a variable whose data type is double i am not writing here double if i declare double any you uh, know variable there you can say pointer will point you know address of that variable i hope you got like why this what does this data type mean right so the size of pointer is what 2 bytes for 32 bits machine right it depends right so now i hope you got the meaning of this thing and if you declare if you write so the basic you know what is pointer pointer will contain address of any other variable right so now here this is what declaration of pointer now here what can i say how to initialize a pointer how to initialize a pointer p equal to now p will contain address and how we will get address of any other variable using address of operator so address of what i can write here a address of a see here if you write p is equal to address of b it is not correct why because according to the declaration of pointer p should contain address of a variable whose data type is integer but here i am initializing p is equal to address of b i am going to store address of b in p but data type of b is float so that would be illegal right this is not possible so now here you can only write down a name of the variable whose data type is integer so a is having integer type so that is fine right so now see if you declare a pointer something like this then name obviously this is a variable this is special variable which would con will contain address but this is also a variable it is going to take some space in memory right so here and if in memory 
memory has been allocated to this p so obviously this will have its own address also right so address may be 2000 see this address would be in hexadecimal form right but just for simplicity purpose i am taking these integers right so now i have initialized p is equal to address of a now address of a is 1000 so in p we have 1000 so now what we can say this p is pointing to a here we can write p points to a if somewhere somewhere it is written like any variable name ptr points to a means definitely you will get ptr is a pointer which is containing address of variable a points to points to means it will it is containing address of this a right i hope you got the you know the declaration and initialization of this pointer and what is a pointer right it's very simple you don't have to be very you know do, don't have to get confused in this case i hope you got meaning of this int star p float star p and double star p right please it's not data type of pointer it is data type of that variable whose very whose address this pointer is going to store right and in this declaration, this is declaration of pointer, this is initialization of pointer, right? So, declaration is going to tell the compiler like uh, three things. This asterisk means this would be a pointer type of variable, right? And this P is having some space in memory, some address in memory like 2000, maybe 2000, let us suppose 2000. Third thing is this, this is having address of a variable whose data type is integer so it is having address of integer data type right now uh, you can do this declaration and this initialization in same step like i can declare something like this int star p and here only i can say is equal to address of a that is also fine in the same step or this is also fine you can merge this and this in one line also int a is equal to 10 in the same line i'm going to declare a pointer star p and i'm going to initialize it address of a this is also fine this will also you know uh, uh, points to this thing visualize you can visualize this thing something like this right but this is not correct if you do something like this int star p is equal to address of a and after this i am going to initialize the say a is equal to 10 this would be wrong why so because we are you are going to store address of a in this pointer but you haven't declared a yet you are declaring a after this so where is a here till here we don't have any a value or a variable name in memory right any address of a in memory so this would be illegal but yeah this is possible first declare a or you can say initialize this you can also initialize it or you, if you don't want to initialize then it will contain any garbage value that is also fine like int a comma and add star p is equal to address of that is also fine right a will contain any garbage value but this is not you know uh, this would be illegal this would be wrong fine So now see, um, now we have two ways to print the value of a. You can directly print printf percentage d and a, and you can also print the value of a using this pointer, because this pointer is also pointing to here. But how you will print the value? How you will access this value using pointer? There we have to use some special operator that is dereferencing operator or indirection operator this star that we will discuss in next video right with some proper example and i'll show you that program on my laptop also uh, here i just i just want to uh, you know uh, get you familiar with the with the basics of pointer right now one question for you is if i write something like this is this correct you have to tell me in comment box right two variable of type float x and y one variable int a 
a pointer and in pointer I am storing address of x and then address of a I am storing right. So, which would be correct and which maybe which would be wrong and if both are correct then at last in pointer what would be the value. You can take any you know address obviously you will take up to you 1000, 2000 anything right and then you can tell me in comment box is it correct or not right. So, I hope this the basics of pointer you got and see if I write something like this int asterisk ptr. So, means here we have pointer name this is a pointer because of this asterisk we came to know name is ptr suppose address is 3000 and here we have not initialized this pointer. So, it is going to point some unknown location we do not know. So, the, these you know uninitialized pointers are very risky to use. So, before using the pointer we have to initialize these pointers in our program right. And if you initialize like uh, int star ptr and if you initialize like ptr is equal to address of b, maybe compiler will not detect will not give any error because of this, but it will give you wrong output. So, you have to take care while initializing pointer, you have to take care of the data types because see b data type is float right and here it should point to integer data type if you write here a that would be fine right. If I write here float b uh, sorry float star ptr then it is fine it will point to a variable whose data type is float and b is having float data type. So, it will contain address of v that is fine right. So, please you have to take care about these assignments you have to take care of the data type also fine. So, now that is it about the introduction of pointer in the next video we will see some example and some you know that dereferencing operator and some programs on pointers. So, now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.